All right, we're going to try the Sundown SCV 3000D. Got two cameras going here so we can catch an accurate measurement of the current. You can see the idle current there, about 2.7 amps. So we've got it hooked up to our eight 14 volt batteries, freshly charged. We've got each uh, input going here. So we've got two runs of eight gauge. We've got dual inputs, a tool maker, uh, copper, solid copper inputs there with one alt going into each terminal. So let's check it out here. Starting off at about 14.95. We'll probably drop down to a little bit under 14 for the test. Let's try it and see what it does. Hold on to your hats. My name is Derek and I do YouTube videos about audio equipment, videos about audio. I know it doesn't make sense, but if you guys enjoy that type of stuff, you might enjoy subscribing to my channel and I'd appreciate it. So stick around for the cool content and don't be surprised if you see a big dummy. What's up guys, Big D Wiz, Williston Audio Labs back once again. Today we have the final installment of the Korean 3000 to 3500 watt amps. We have the Sundown and the Orion today. Please check the video description or the card above to see the other tests in this playlist. To power the amplifiers in this test, we have eight 14 volt batteries. You can see here all wired up in parallel. Plenty of juice to run these tests. There's a small correction. The SCAR audio amplifier is actually made in China. The board is made in Korea, it's assembled in China. So that accounts for its price being a little less than the rest. That one's retailed at 629. The other ones are a little bit higher. So today we're gonna to talk about the Orion HCCA and the Sundown SCV. Both of these are 3000 watt amps from the manufacturer. Let's take a closer look at the Sundown. Here's the Sundown audio website. You can see the amplifier. The SCV line replaces the former SAZ line. This one's rated 750, 1500, and 3000 watts at four ohms, two ohms, and one ohm respectively. You can see here it talks about, they. this one's designed for the lower voltage between 12 and 15.5, whereas the former SAZ could do up to 18 volts. They found most people that were buying these did not need that. These sell for around 880 bucks, depends on where you get it. This, this here is off Amazon. Check the video description below so you can pick one up if you'd like. You can also check out places like theamplab.net. They sometimes have these that are refurbished. You can save quite a bit of money, $549, and still get a warranty. The Orion model is the HCCA 3000.1D SPLX. These retail for $6.99. You can find them a little, usually a little bit less off of eBay. That's why I purchased mine, $649. Bucks. The interesting thing about the Orion is all the ratings here you see are at 12.6 volts and 0.5% THD. So are they cheating? Well, according to the CEA ratings, 1350 at four ohms and 3000 watts at one ohm. So, hey, looks pretty equal across the board to me. Comparing the two, you can see here, the Orion does put out more power at four ohms and two ohms than the Sundown rated. The dimensions of the amplifier show that the Sundown is a little bit longer at 18.89 inches or 480 millimeters, whereas the Orion is 16.75 inches or 425 millimeters. However, the Orion is wider at 11.7 inches compared to the Sundown's 8.25 inches. Height wise, again, the Orion has the advantage here for height or disadvantage, however you want to look at it, 2.8 inches versus 2.3 on the Sundown. On the Sundown model, we have Tiffany style RCA inputs and outputs, a power and protect light, gain control, adjustable subsonic, adjustable bass boost, remote connection, low pass filter, phase adjustment, and also an input or output for the slave or master, again, those are via RCAs, which are again, Tiffany style. The Orion also uses Tiffany style RCAs. You can see here for the inputs and the outputs, but it's really difficult to see the silk screen. I'm not sure why they use black on red. It's really difficult to read what's going on here, but you have a level control, a subsonic switch, 
and you have a bass boost, low pass filter, and phase control, as well as a switch for master or slave, but there's no variable subsonic filter. What's up with that, Orion? On the power input side, the Orion has a huge advantage. It has three one alt inputs for power and ground, whereas the Sundown just has one input for one alt. So it'll save you money right off the bat not having to buy those multiple inputs. The bass knobs, oh man, Sundown kills the Orion with this. The Orion one is plastic and cheap. Sundown one is metal and has a clip indicator. Yeah, Sundown for the win here. The Orion also includes these silly plastic end caps. Uh, I know they cover the power and ground terminals, but still, I really don't like these. And I've had a few of them that have broken during shipment. But I've been told these are going to be changed in the future. But you can hear they're plastic. Yeah, not a big fan. Make sure you stick around till after the dyno test so you can see the gut shots of these amplifiers. Let the drag races begin. You want to play, Pops? Let's play. All right, Sundown 3K. We're gonna try four ohm certified. It's rated 750 watts. Let's try it at 40 hertz, up to 1% THD. So, uh, 964, 14.7, our voltage is a little bit high, but still, full 95 amps according to that. Alrighty, now we're gonna do four ohm certified. Uh, 1350 is what it's rated. Let's see what we get. Eighteen sixty-three. Woohoo! Oh my goodness grief! Oh my goodness grief! At fourteen point four one volts and one ninety-three point seven, we'll correct that. Good gracious! Sundown SCV 3000D. We're going to try two ohms certified 1% THD at 40 hertz. Nineteen hundred watts, eighteen ninety eight at fourteen point three. Let's go two ohm certified where we're rated 2100. Let's see what we get. Fire in the hole, hopefully no fire. Let's try it out. 3228, 14 volts, Woohoo! No, no fire. If you notice from the sundown test, the efficiency was exactly the same, we're around 71%. But check out the power of the Orion. It actually did over its one ohm rating at two ohms. Insane. All right, for the one ohm test, I decided to do dyno drag style. So let's check it out. Orion on the top, sundown on the bottom. Orion killed it, 48.25 to 3004 this is one ohm certified to one percent thd get ready to be smacked sundown all right here we're going to run the uncertified test which is going to take us up to clipping i think you guys are going to know what to expect here orion right at 5049.30 to sundown 3110 again this is up to clipping ouch sundown And for the final test, let's try the dynamic RMS power test. What? 
You guys see this? Yeah, the Orion pretty much doubled the sundown. Actually, it did double it. A little bit more than double. Oh boy, this last one's going to hurt. All right, now we've seen that what these amps can do was prime open, take a closer look, and we'll talk about the internals. All right, so you don't have to know very much about amplifier guts to see the differences here and realize that the Orion's quite a bit beefier. Let's start off with the sundown. You can see the four transformers there and also the rail caps. The rail caps are 160 volt, 1500 microfarad, 85 degrees Celsius. And the filter caps are 35 volt, 1000 microfarad. The Sundown has a fan as well, which is temperature controlled. It never came on during my test. The Orion has six power transformers, and it has 12 of these 1,000 microfarad, 160 volt, 85 degrees Celsius caps, as well as 35 volt, 220 microfarad for the power supply filtering. Just massive here. Again, the fan never came on the Orion either. So both these amps are designed to run all day long with these loads. But yeah, the Orion is just way more powerful than the Sundown. Here's a breakdown of the price. I am going to have a final video where I'm going to talk about price per watts. Talk about some more about these amps. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks as always, guys, for watching. Appreciate your support. Hope you enjoyed these tests. Until next time, Big D Wiz, I'm out of here. Are you listening? Damn. All right, Sundown SCV 3000D. We're going to try dynamic run 0.8, 40 hertz. All right, 4158, 14.2, and rush currents is 457.7. All right, here's the Orion 3000.1D SPLX. Got it hooked up to the Dyno. We're gonna try dynamic run at 0.8. It's not ready to handle this load, but we feel pretty confident that it can. So let's see what we get. Yeah, boy! 87.99, almost 8,800 watts. 13.6. Look at that inrush current. Good thing we have triple inputs. Woo!